FPV backpacks are expensive. The Torval Quad Pit Stop will set you back 199 US dollars. HGLRC also has one for 189, and the AU Line Drone Pilot will set you back 199 dollars as well. But what about if you can make your own FPV backpack, like this one here? Now with this backpack, I've got a place to mount a drone on the outside here, so I've actually attached a special drone mount. And on the inside, I've actually designed it to fit all of my own FPV components. So if you want to make your own FPV backpack, I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a backpack. So you might have one lying around, or if you do go out and buy one, just buy something cheap. This one here has just got two pockets on the side, and it doesn't even have any pockets on the side here. Now, importantly, most backpacks, when you open the zip, that zip will only come down to here. So you can only fold the flap out to here. Try and get a backpack where the zip comes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, I got this one that I here, so it was perfect. So when it comes all the way down to the bottom, you can completely open the flap out and have access to all of your gear. Now, the next thing you're going to need is some foam. Now, I just went to the local foam shop and had a hunt around for some scraps that they had and picked up some cheap foam. Now with the foam I just got this piece which is about one centimeter thick, that's going to be the backing piece. And then a couple of other pieces, these are about 2.5 centimeters thick. So these pieces are going to form the, the cross-sectional pieces that are going to be glued onto this backing piece. Apart from the foam, a few other things you're going to need is a few pieces of cardboard. This is to make a template to go into the backpack and also to glue the backing piece of foam onto. Some tape a good quality knife to do the cutting and some glue this is a contact adhesive so you put a little bit of this glue on either piece of foam and they just stick together uh, in Australia here we call it quick grip so let's start with the backpack and we're just going to measure the size of the inside of the backpack we're going to go all the way from this seam here down to the seam on the other end so we're just going to get the length and the width once again from seam to seam inside the backpack across here and the width of the backpack and what we're actually going to do is we're going to cut out a shape on, on a piece of cardboard that we're going to use as a template so make sure you also make a note of the corners if they're rounded and how much of a diameter the corners have now for the cardboard i'm just using some cardboard about four millimeters thick and that's what we're going to use for the template That template should fit quite neatly into our backpack. Now I've decided to use a thin foam backing piece on my backpack. Of course you don't have to use this, you can just use the, the foam block itself. But for this thin foam backing piece, uh, we can just cut that with a knife. And with the cardboard template and the backing piece of foam both cut out, the next thing we can do is put the glue on and glue these together. Okay, then with the backing piece put into the backpack we can measure the height of the sides and see how high the sides need to be okay so in my case we're just going to measure this and about 11 and a half centimeters is going to be a good height for the sides Okay, so there's the basic shape of our backpack, and we'll just put that in and have a look at it.
And with that put in, the next part is to get all of our FPV gear layered out how we want to have it and put the horizontal and vertical separators in. Okay, and finally the fun part where we actually decide where we're going to put everything in the backpack and make it all fit. Now in my case I've got my goggles and the controller down the bottom here. I think you can see the, you get the idea here, we're just going to cut pieces and we're going to put them in like this. And just make, uh, make some compartments. I need enough room up the top here for a, a 4 inch freestyle. A 4 inch uh, long range I should say, up the top. And maybe a 3 inch freestyle on top. On the right hand side over here, I can probably put a put a toolbox or even a two and a half inch. Okay, might stick up just a little bit, but that's okay. Right, so once you've got it all laid out, it's time to start gluing. Okay, so all the compartments are now glued in. Let's put everything in and see how it goes. The goggles and controller go down the bottom here. I've got this little gap here which is perfect just to slide some batteries into. This holds them nice and neatly there. Up the top here we've got enough room for a 4 inch long range. And I've actually made up this little piece of foam here to go on top. So that's going to allow me to put another drone on top of there. And this is a 3.5 inch freestyle, fits neatly on there. Uh, another little component here, a little space here for tools and things like that or even a even a small cinematic drone can be put in there as well okay so with that there's only one more thing and that's the five inch drone and that's going to go on the back of the backpack and for that we're going to use one of these little kits here and this is a backpack mount kit so basically you've got some of these components here these are cut from fr4 fiberboard so one goes on the front and one goes underneath at the back. We've got some bolts and nuts to be screwed through there. They just go straight through the backpack and then some very long battery straps that we use to strap the, the quad onto the backpack. So there we go, that's how to make your very own FPV backpack. If you found this video interesting, do like and subscribe, and until next time, happy flying.